Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again and for the very first time to the Thoughts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 15 of Mega Man Legends. Hope you guys are all doing well today and on today's episode. We are indeed making story progress back to the main the main quest and uh, we are going to do that by heading to the closer ruins the closure ruins the ruins it's ruins uh, subgate yeah do you want to go to the subgate in the closer woods yes that's what we're supposed to be doing, so just uh, turn this down here. There we go. Shimmer bear bear. Oh yeah. I just realized um kitties wow we have three cats now we have three cats four cats now jeez it's like we got the uh some tribbles uh, I just realized the um game audio capture is like lower than I usually have it there we go. That's where it should be. Okay. I'm hungry, meow. Oh. Am I supposed to, like, also feed them and shit? Also, I have a talking cat. Purr, purr, meow. Are these cats getting, like, more intelligent? I like this place. Um. Huh. Hey, uh, Professor? I'm slowing down in my old age, Mega Man. Won't be able to help you like I used to. I guess I'll just stay here and watch TV. Why don't you stay and watch TV with me for a while? See, look there. It's Catalogs Island. But, Grandpa, the TV's not on. Oh, I love this show. Is that supposed to be a newspaper? On the table? It's a newspaper. Let's see what the headlines say. Battle in Uptown. Pirate involvement suspected. There's another headline. Flutter flies again. Our ship is in the newspaper? Alright. Uh, what about Mega Man's room? Is there anything going on in here? Oh, this is not Mega Man's room. I thought it was my beige. My beige. Guess the middle room is my room. There's kitties in here, too. Meow. Damn, dude. Got like, what, seven cats now or some shit? It's a first aid box. You don't really need it as long as data's around. Per meow. Meow. Do they always say the same thing? Oh, they do. Okay. I still find it very... It looks like my bed is supposed to be like a tanning bed or something. Like, what's with the arm deal? What is that? It's weird. But yeah, we got like... Four, five, six, six cats now. Dang, 
we're gonna just have too many cats pretty soon. If, you know, whatever that looks like. Oh my gosh. I'm a gershke. I'm a gershke. Um. Hmm. Alright, well, we're here. Finally. Have you ever seen a site like this? Wait a minute. Oh, I did restore the canteen. Okay. Damn it, roll. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Skip your dialogue, I forgot that happens. Um. Okay. We. What do we got down here? This is a little different. Oh, wait, do I still have the, uh. Yeah, it did bring the Grand Grenade, okay. What did. Mega Man? Are you okay? Can you see a door somewhere? Yeah, I can also see my legs clipping through shit. Um, yeah, there's one right there. And one right there. And... Hmm. I'm just looking for any holes in the wall. And, uh, what's with this really ominous music? I can't get any readings of that room, Mega Man. My monitor's completely blank. Take a look around and let me know what you see. Um... Well, we got some screens? Some weird tech some I I don't even yeah I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here <laughs> it's my guess the power's out in that room can you see a switch anywhere I don't see any switches but there's some writing here let's see it says operations room 2 emergency system activation requires direct password input from Eden or the insertion of three level two or higher prototype anthro unit ID cards. What's a prototype anthro unit? I've never heard of that before. Well, whatever that is, you need three ID cards, right? If we're lucky, you'll be able to find them inside there. Okay. I mean, yeah. I guess. Like. I mean. Yeah, I would assume. But, uh. You know what they say about assuming? Hmm. Okay, I guess just go through the other door. There's nowhere else to go? Oh, hello. I kind of like having the better range, but... I kind of missed the, uh, the rapid. Alright, I think this is the... yeah, that's the door I came from. Just kind of looking around for any holes in the wall, and I 
don't really know what the holes in the wall are gonna look like in this level because they always have like a different style depending on which uh, ruins you're in. like no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Guidance unit? Hmm. Alright. Um, I guess I'll just keep going this way for now. Guessing this is a hole in the wall? Yeah, alright. Refactor shard, you got 1200 zenny, woot. Okay, so now I at least know what they look like here. Hmm. I guess I should just like fill out the map a little bit because I don't really know good amount of the blue and purple ones, we're good. And there's a hole in the wall too. There's a good amount of them here. Uh-huh. Antique bell. It's probably for the museum. Factor shard. You got 920 zenny. Woo, that's like nothing. It might as well be nothing. Alright. Come on, I can definitely. There we go. Yo! Can't jump that high. Ain't no jumping high enough. Ain't no river. Anyway, ID card. Cool. Did that's. Did you find something, Mega Man? Yeah. I think I found an ID card. Good going. I'll go back to that control room once I found the others. Yeah, I was gonna say like, why go back when we don't have all of them? <laughs> Okay, so another door. Hmm. I have not been here yet. So I found a refractor shard. Hmm. Almost two thousand. It's not terrible. It's not great, but you know, it's not awful. I think I just made a full circle? Okay, because I did, yeah, I did check that one. Okay. Yeah, because I started on the left side. And on the right, 
Is the ID card? I think so. Kinda got a feeling. No. That this door goes back to that first room I was in? Nope. This is different. Why would there be... Why would there be this here? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, because there's no, like... Looks like the power's off there, too. Yeah. Maybe you'll be able to find the generator somewhere in there. Uh-huh. Can't jump that high, either. Okay. Sure, this dungeon's gonna have some verticality. Gotcha. Let's try that middle room. Yeah, this is new as well. to go to waste. Target sensor. Okay. Um... I guess the increased range does help. It's just I feel like with high attack and high rapid, like it's more useful. I'm just gonna so it marks it on the map. Um, I'm gonna try the other direction first. Oh, that's the ramp I already... Okay, gotcha. Okay, so... Arbitrary decision one or two. I didn't see any holes in the wall. Alright, let's try this one. Kinda sucks, you can only check. That definitely looks like something. Um, the fact that you can only check the map for the room that you're in, you can't cycle between the different maps in the map, uh, on the map screen. So like, kinda like how in, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, when you get like a dungeon map, you can like check the different levels and everything. Um, yeah, this big ass thing looks important. That looks like the generator you've been looking for. Oh. Can you get it to work? Mm hmm. All right. You should be able to get the elevator to work now. That's it. Just press the button and you're good. Yeah, I can't jump that high. 
Almost. I mean, that's a big ass generator. It generates all the ass. So much ass. Alright, um. Another ID card. Cool. Wait, did they say they. I needed two or three? So this is the area in between the other two rock walls that I tried breaking before in uh, one of the previous episodes. So this is new. And of course I can't break those yet, but... I can mark it on the map. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. An ancient book? It's gotta be for the museum. Oh my goodness, I just had like a really long fart. It was thankfully silent. Hopefully not deadly. Just checking for holes in the wall. No? Alright, we're good. Shit, you guys are back. All right. Yeah. I kind of missed the rapid, not gonna lie. Attack range, attack, energy, and rabbit one. That's also a rapid one. Is it worth... Would it be worth to sacrifice three energy for one rapid, though? I mean, kinda. It's a pretty long pause. And being able to not have to do the pause as often. Yeah, I feel like it's not worth it. Put the machine gun back on. Shit, I keep forgetting. Gotta be careful about that because I only have what, like 16 of those or something? Yeah. Yeah. Because I always just like hit back, you know, because in the menus, like the sub menus, that's like how you do it, you know, but to actually exit the menu, oh, I guess you can hit close, right? Yeah. So that's an option, but you can also just hit start, which is like faster. So, did, did I go through here? Is this a generator room? We're here first, right? Yeah, it's a generator room. Generator room, generator room, generator room, generator room. 
Alright. It's rolling around. Got the speed of sound. Places to go. Oh, dude, not cool. Bro. It's like right in my face, dude. And I already tried this room. Wait a minute, did I try this room? This is the one I just came from, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Being stupid. Try this door, did I try this door? I did not try this door. Okay, that's the edge. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's just get some distance here. Mega Man, I'm seeing something funny on my monitor. It looks like there's a false wall or something. There's probably a secret room in there. Oh, is this that one spot in the game? <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. Um, I am holding the strafe thing to try to go through one of these walls. That's not what she's talking about. Uh, there's one spot in the game where the ceiling is breakable and only if you have Grand Grenade. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Which, very strange. Very, very strange. But I mean, the game kinda hints at it a little bit just because like the ceilings are usually not visible. You know? It's just like a void. So the fact that you can see the ceiling, and the fact that the ceiling is so low... Kind of hints at it, in a way. And I don't think it's... Necessary? No, because the Grand Grenade is missable. Hey, Mega Man! Have you ever wondered where the Reaverbots came from? I mean, yeah. who made them and why? Mm. You know, we go around doing digs all over the place, but is it right? It's almost like stealing. Mega Man, I'm picking up three Reaverbots close by. Watch out! And they have their own music. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. These guys are not messing around. goodness, they drop a bunch of cash. Whoop. Okay. Give him the juke. Nope. There we go. Got most of them. Yeah. 
I'm not picking up any more Reaverbot signals. I think it's safe. Yeah, that was a hell of a fight. I mean, definitely harder than any boss I've faced so far. This is above the generator room. Okay. Hmm. All right. It's got to be some treasure. Which, like, it's not even like that secret. I guess. Like, I guess, you know, I guess if you didn't, you know, have the Grand Grenade and you didn't know it was for breaking certain walls, yeah, it'd be confusing. Oh, it's one of the ID cards. So it is necessary? Huh. Did not expect that at all. Hmm. Still weird that the ground like clips through my feet sometimes. It's kind of strange. Hmm. That is very weird to me. Okay, so the middle room, I already did that. The other... Is this one? Hmm, just a little one. Yeah. yeah, this was the one where there was an elevator and I was confused about like why it wasn't working. Oh, it's back in this room. Ow. So I came from the middle room, and the only one I didn't do is over here. Oh shit. Didn't realize the door had closed already. I should probably backtrack and save pretty soon. These also holes in the wall? Oh yeah, they are. Refractor shard, 4 into 50. Oh. Boo. Telelens? Hmm. Strange. Okay, so that was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I get it, eh? Um. So that's it, right? I mean, as far as getting all the, you know, the things. Um. I believe so? Because I kind of checked everywhere, and now we have the ID cards that we need. 
And I checked all the doors and everything. Yeah. And we got some items that might be used for making stuff. So you never know. Oh, you're... Anyway, I gotta get going, guys. Um, let me know when you want to go back to Cardon Forest. Okay. Go to the R&D room? <laughs> she kind of almost looks sad about that. Item development? Yeah. What we get? Active Buster? This is a Buster model arm mounted gun. Fires a homing missile. Oh, this thing is incredible. There's a lot of enhancements I could make to this, depending on how you choose to improve it. It could become your most powerful weapon. Target sensor and the tele lens were used to make the Buster part sniper scope. Increases your firing range as far as it'll go. With this, you'll be able to take down Reaver bots before they even see you coming. Oh, that's cool. Special weapons? Enhance? Yeah, I mean, Grand Grenade is great, but... Ooh, and we got 100k! We actually get almost got enough to get that final Kevlar jacket. Active Buster, there it is. Um, Eight thousand, holy crap! Wow, um, that's incredible. Uh, it's gonna be super expensive to get this thing up to max. Um, so. For now, I think it's probably best just to go with the basic buster. And save, get the Kevlar jacket, actually. Because, like, I mean, there's certain things this is going to be really good for. Um, increases homing capability? Okay, that's cool. I mean, we could always upgrade this later. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Yeah, never mind. Um, let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh, yeah, never mind. We're good. Let's talk to Data. Energy turned and. Actually, nothing. Let's, let's go back to the flutter because Data comes with anyway. Um,. And I want to save. Slot 2. Because, yeah, we got to get going. But um, on the next episode, guys, we're going to be going back into the ruins, uh, finishing that up, and see what happens afterwards, which I'm not entirely sure, actually. So, um... But yeah, thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, before we get going, very special thank you going out to the current Fire Arts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novalis Draconis. But if you want to be incredibly awesome, support the show a bit more directly and get in all those membership benefits like Novalis Draconis does, check out the join button down below to your start. Three bucks a month, it's only 10 cents a day, gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on this channel and, uh, Alternatively, now you can actually also go through or alternative I keep doing that. There's also the option of doing your membership through the Buy Me a Coffee page, which is external and a bit more straightforward and stuff, blah blah blah. So if you'd rather, that is another option. Uh you get into the main benefits, like the members wall and the um the members choice polls. Uh, we, of course, already had the vote for August, and it's no longer August anymore, but uh, we will definitely have another one in September at some point. Trying to make sure we have a new one once a month. Um, you know, keeping series to a certain normalcy, I guess. Anyway, just however the schedule goes, but um, 
yeah, stay tuned, guys. I will keep it posted on that. And, um, yeah, till next time. Take care, and I hope you all have a beautiful day.